Welcome to The Daily presented by EA Sports FIFA 12. It's Monday, September 26th with Simon Borg. I'm Jason Seguini. A ton of games to get to from this weekend. We'll start in the Western Conference though, Simon, where now three teams have locked up a playoff spot. And I think these are the three teams that are going to take these automatic spots in the West. We're talking about Salt Lake and Seattle joining the LA Galaxy as the only three teams to have locked up playoff qualification thus far. Now the only suspense is can Seattle and Salt Lake give the LA Galaxy a run for the Supporter Shield? All right, we'll find out this weekend when the Galaxy take on Real Salt Lake. But the real drama is in the Eastern Conference and in the wild card. So we have to start now at the top of the East. And that, surprisingly, is the Houston Dynamo who got a big win over their rival FC Dallas this weekend. Anyone can take first place in the East these days. <laughs> Houston with a game they probably didn't deserve three points from. Jeff Cameron getting the late goal. Dallas come away from this saying what happened. Three times they hit the woodwork. They've been snake bitten last three games, three defeats and no goals. And Houston jumps over the Columbus crew because Columbus couldn't get any points at home against the LA Galaxy. It was a late winner by Chad Barrett for the Galaxy. Here, the Galaxy, even though they're playing with several of their reserves, they get the killer goal in at the end where Columbus with Andres Mendoza, great opportunity to get ahead in this game. They didn't, LA Galaxy take advantage. And all this shuffling in the Eastern Conference came about because Friday night's matchup between Sporting KC and Philadelphia Union ended up in a draw. And Philadelphia will be happy with this point. They had four starters out, Freddie Adu, Danny Mwanga, Farid Mondragon, and Shannon Williams. We had the Farfan brothers really starring in this game for Philadelphia. And one of the greatest plays you'll ever see on a field, that's not a goal. Michael Farfan with that play along the end line, saving the ball and allowing Philadelphia to get the equalizer. Yeah, and once again, uh, Kansas City sees themselves losing a lead at home and this doesn't really bode well for them as they look to go into the playoffs. Another game we have to tell you about, the New York Red Bulls. Remember all that controversy over Rafa Marquez being benched for this game, his comments uh, after Wednesday's game. New York gets a shutout anyway against Portland at home. Marquez was watching from the suites, and he saw Dane Richards with a great, great solo effort to put New York ahead, and it was a gritty effort by the Red Bulls. Later in the second half, the game was really put away by what is still a controversial call. Did Khalif Al-Hassan of Portland really handle this ball on the line? Did it deserve a red? card. Nonetheless, Luke Rogers puts away the penalty kick. Game over. All right, another team trying to rebound from Wednesday night was DC United, who had a chance to win it late. Dwayne De Rosario stepped up to the spot and couldn't convert a penalty kick. And Simon, I think he made up for it. He did in a big way. One of the greatest single game performances by an MLS player in history of the league. And he does it with a hat trick, the fastest hat trick in MLS history as well. And DC United were up on Salt Lake, four nothing by the break. Who would have seen this coming? Real Salt Lake starting with a few of their reserve players and they paid for it. Finally, two more teams who kept their faint playoff hopes alive with big wins over the weekend, and that's the Chicago Fire and Chivas USA, which brings us to the Marine Corps leader of the week, and that has to be Juan Pablo Angel. And many doubting whether he had anything left in the tank uh, with the LA Galaxy. They trade him to Chivas USA. He's been rejuvenated. Four goals last week alone, two over the weekend. And he looks rejuvenated, Jason. Funny to say it, but with the league-leading LA Galaxy, he didn't have the attacking supporting cast that he has with Chivas USA. He just has more health. All right, check back next Monday to see who gets recognized as we continue to celebrate Latino values and the Marines who live by them. One more thing before we go, Extra Time Radio comes out later today. You can get it on iTunes or Buzzsprout, and we'll be back on The Daily tomorrow.